Hello. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at multiplication. And you may think about your times tables. In maths, your times tables are one of the most important things for you to know. So it's important that you are confident with your times tables up to your 12 times tables. And here we have got this multiplication chart, which will help you to know all the times tables. So for example, your one times table, two, three times table, four times table, five times table, and just practice these as much as you can. That's one of the biggest things that I would say is for you to just know your times tables and to practice, practice, practice. Now we're going to be looking at short multiplication. Hopefully we all know that the symbol for multiplying is a cross like that, okay, and it means times. Or another word for multiplying is product. Now what I'd like you to do is to practice your times table. So if you draw out a um, chart like this, a multiplication chart, and just fill them out just to make sure that you are confident with your times tables, please. Let's look at some short multiplication. Now there are some multiplication that we just need to know our times table. So here let's look at work out 3 times 4, 3 times 4 is 12. Now for some of you it will be as easy as that, that you know straight away that the answer is 12. For some of you you may need to write down that 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 4 is 12. And writing down your times tables can help you. 4 times 3 is also 12. Remember that it doesn't matter which way round with multiplying, you're going to get the same answer. 12 times 5 is 60. Again, if you weren't sure what that was, just write down your 5 times table or think about what you may know. You may know that 10 times 5 is 50. So 11 times 5 is 55. So 12 times 5 is 60. Okay, D, 7 times 7 um, is 49. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine, 7 times 7 is 49. 8 times 8 is 64. I ate and I ate until I was sick on the floor. 8 times 8 is 64. And then we have some short multiplication whereby we need to use a method. So let's look at this example. We've got work out 67 times 4. So there are three different methods that I'm going to go through to help you to answer this question. The first method is called the traditional method. And this may be the method that for some of you home may only be aware of this method. Okay, it's like a tower sum. So same as with um, adding and subtracting, we think about our place value chart. We put the seven, six there, the four goes there underneath, and we times these like so. Okay, so we start by multiplying the units. So seven times four is 28, put the eight there, carry the two, and then we'll multiply the tens by this four. 6 times 4 is 24, add your 2 is going to give you 26, so we've got the 6 there and the 2 there, okay? So I'll just run through that quickly, 7 times 4 is 28, put the 8 here, carry the 2, okay? And then 6 times 4 is 24, Add this 2 that we're carrying, gives 26, so 67 times 4 is 268. That's the traditional method. Next, we're going to look at um, something called the box method, or sometimes it's called the grid method. Both mean the same thing. And for this, what you need to do is split into so 67, we'd write as 60 and a 7, okay, and then we'd multiply that by 4. Okay, so you split it up into your tens, your units, and then obviously we're multiplying by tens. Then we draw a box, and then we split each of these up into a box like so. Okay, then in here what we do is 7 times 4 is 28, 
And then for this box, we're going to do 60 times 4. Okay, so you may like to do that as 6 times 4 is 24. So 60 times 4 is going to be 640. Then we add these up. Okay, so the 240 and the 28, we add these. And that gives you 268, as you can see. We also have the Chinese method. Okay, so for this one, we'd have six, seven, multiplied by four. Draw a box, and each number needs a box like so. And then we draw a diagonal. This is the most confusing part of it. Once you've got that, that's fine. Okay, so each number as a box each and then we draw a diagonal through. <clears throat> so what will then happen is that for this top part, this is going to be your tens digit and this will be a units digit for seven times four. And for six times four, this will be a tens digit and this will be your units digit for six times four. Okay. So then seven times four is 28. So we put the two there. 8 there. Okay, so 8 units, 2 tens. 6 times 4 is 24. 2 tens, 4 units. And now what we do, which I'll highlight to try and make it easier, is that we go down each diagonal and we add as we go along. So here I've got just 8. Then I go down the next diagonal. Going down here, 2 add 4 is 6. And then we go down the next diagonal, and that's just a 2. So the answer then reads, going down this way, 268. Okay, so there's three methods. You can choose whichever method works best for you. Trial some of them out and see which one you prefer. Let's try those methods on a second example. So here we have 284 times 7. So let's try with the traditional method first of all. So we'll have 284 multiplied by 7. First of all, we need to do 4 times 7, which is 28. Put the 8 there, carry the 2. 8 times 7 is 56. But the um, add then the 2 that you carry in. Okay, so 8 times 7 is 56. Add the 2 that you're carrying. It's going to be 58. Ooh. So we put the 8 there. Carry the 5. I put a line through that one because I've used that one. And then 2 times 7 is 14. Add the 5. It's going to be 19. So you put 9, 1, like so. Okay. So that's your traditional method. <clears throat> Your box method, we need to split, so 284 being multiplied by 7. Then we draw a box, give each number a box each. 4 times 7 is 28, 80 times 7 is 560. 200 times 7 is 1,400. Okay. Then what we need to do is add these numbers together, making sure that your tower sum for adding is all units under units, tens under tens, hundreds under hundreds. So 0 add 0 add 8 is 8. 0 add 6 add 2 is 8. 4 add 5 is 9. And then we have our one. Notice we get the same answer. And then we have the Chinese method. So we'll have, you write down two, eight, four, multiplied by seven. Draw a box. Notice that there's enough space in between each number because each number needs a box. Then we draw on the diagonals. Remembering that the tens digit goes in this part, 
units there, tens in this part, units there, tens in this part, units there. Okay, so then we go 4 times 7 is 28, but the 2 there, 8 there. 8 times 7 is 56, but the 5 there, 6 there. 2 times 7 is 14, but the 1 there, 4 there. And then we add as we go down. So here that would have given me 8. Add in as I go down here. 2 add 6 is 8. Add in as I go down. 5 add 4 is 9. Add in as I go down. That's a 1. So your answer is 1,988. Okay, so three different methods, all getting the same answer. It's whichever one you feel more comfortable with. Okay, let's look at one more example on short multiplication. So by now you may be thinking which method you prefer. Um, traditional method, we'd have 689 multiplied by 6. Okay, 9 times 6 is 54, but the 4 there carry the 5. 8 times 6 is 48. Add your 5 is going to be 53, put the 3 there, carry the 5. 6 times 6 is 36. Add your 5 is going to be 41. Okay. So that's the traditional method. The box method, we'd split this. So 689 being multiplied by 6. Draw yourself a box. Each number needs a box each. And then we go 9 times 6 is 54. 80 times 6 is 480. 600 times 6 is 3,600. And then we add these, these three numbers here together using a tower sum. So 3,600, 480, 54 in a tower sum. Add these up and notice you get the same answer as you did for the traditional method. Then we have the Chinese method. So we'll have 689 multiplied by 6. Draw a box. Each number needs a box. And then we draw the diagonals. 9 times 6 is 54. Put the 5 there, the 4 there. 8 times 6 is 48, but the 4 there, 8 there. 6 times 6 is 36, but the 3 there, 6 there. Okay, this one's going to be slightly different, so listen to me going through this one, please. So add in as we go down the diagonals, so that will give us a 4. Then going down the next diagonal, 5 add 8 gives you 13. Okay, so what you then do is you put the 3 there, we always have the units, and then the tens gets carried on to the next diagonal to be added on. Okay, so when we go down the next diagonal, we will have 4 add 6 add 1. Okay, so 4 add 6 add 1 is going to be 11. So again, 1 for the units, and the tens gets carried up to the next diagonal. Then we add here, 3 add 1 is going to be 4, so then you put the answer 4 there, so your answer is 4,134. All three giving you the same answer, but different methods to get there.